Hello, I'm Father Stepan Baljan, the pastor of St. Gregory Armenian Apostolic Church of North Andover, Massachusetts. And I am addressing you today on one of the last days of the year 2020. Today, the Armenian Apostolic Church celebrates the feast day of St. John the Evangelist, or the theologian, who wrote the Gospel of John, one of the four Gospels that is in use in the New Testament. And I wanted to take a moment today to reflect on a passage from the Gospel of John where we see Jesus teaching and preaching in the temple and a group of people coming up to him and asking him, how long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Well, Jesus answered them, I have told you, and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name testify to me, but you do not believe because you do not belong to my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. What my Father has given me is greater than all else and no one can snatch it out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. This passage is found in the 10th chapter of St. John's Gospel. We all have times in our life when we want to know the answer to something straightforward. The answer may be complex, but we want to make sense of it in the simplest possible terms, with little investment or engagement in the contemplative process. Here we see an example of this kind of impatience of the people that were around Jesus. But what they need to under, needed to understand in that moment was that everything that Jesus was doing, all the things that he was making manifest that were happening around him, were giving testimony to exactly who he was, and more particularly, who he was in terms of God, the Father, and of himself and their oneness. The oneness that Jesus has with the Father is a thing of mystery for us. Let's be clear. His identity as the Messiah is enshrouded in that mystery, yet revealed to us in the plainest terms by his works. Remember that we know Jesus by what he did. His revelation his preaching, his miracles, his passion, his crucifixion, his resurrection, his ascension, the promise of his awesome and glorious second coming, all reveal his dominion, his lordship, and his being the savior. But only a lifetime of active contemplation of those things can bring us firmly to that conclusion. It's not enough for us to just ask a question and expect a yes or no, thumbs up or thumbs down answer. We need to be in search every day, actively contemplating who is he and what did he do? The people of Jesus' day saw it, saw what he did before their very eyes. And so many were compelled to believe, although we see in this passage that many still refuse to. We, however, have a whole lifetime the journey of our Christian lives, beginning with childhood, to hear and meditate upon the gospel, and therefore to come to a greater and greater faith every day. When it comes down to it, we are faced with the question of who Jesus is every day of our life. So on the threshold of this new year, preparing to celebrate his glorious birth and revelation among us, let us commit ourselves to this daily pursuit of Jesus and his importance in our life.